It's Wednesday, March 16th here in Seoul. Hey everyone, it's Debbie from Korea Now, and these are your daily headlines. North Korea has fired an unidentified projectile on Wednesday, but it seems to have failed, according to the South Korean military. The Joint Chiefs of Staff said the launch took place in the Sunan area in Pyongyang at 9.30 this morning. Other details have not been disclosed, and authorities of South Korea and the U.S. are conducting further analysis. There have been growing speculation that Pyongyang may conduct an ICBM test under the disguise of a satellite development project. In response, Seoul and Washington are considering to resume the so-called Blue Lightning combined drills involving America's nuclear-capable bombers. And in a show of force against Pyongyang, the U.S. military also conducted a carrier-based air demonstration in the Yellow Sea this week and is also strengthening its missile interception exercise in the south. South Korea has once again reached a new all-time high in daily cases of COVID-19 with more than 400,000 new infections on Wednesday. The number of severe patients also reached a new record high of 1,244, up 48 from the previous day. Despite the spike in cases due to Omicron, the government has been taking steps to regain normalcy. On Wednesday, Prime Minister Kim bo asked health authorities to consider lowering the grade for COVID-19 to better deal with the current pandemic situation. He also said the current Omicron wave is expected to pass its peak in the near future and that the government will announce updates to its response measures on Friday. A former Navy SEAL turned YouTuber Egan, also known as Ken Ree, says he's alive in Ukraine, dispelling rumors about his death. Ree had recently gone to Ukraine to fight against Russia as a volunteer soldier, and there have been growing concerns over his safety after it was reported that a Russian airstrike had killed about 180 people on a training base with foreign soldiers. On Tuesday, Ri made a post on social media saying he's alive and that his teammates have withdrawn safely from Ukraine, leaving him alone in the country. He also told people to stop spreading fake news and that he will not be making another post until his mission is complete. And those are your top stories. For full-length articles, you can go to our official website, link down below. As always, make sure to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.